Hello Odisha, welcome to my channel Chemistry Sphere Alpi. In my organic nomenclature series, I am giving you continuously one one chemistry video lecture. And today I will discuss another example how to write the IPEC nomenclature of organic compounds. Friends, before going to the example, just remember and memorize the formula prefix plus word root plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix. Friends, come to the example. CH3, CH, CH2, and CH, CH2, CH2, CH, and CH3. This is your bromine. This is your bromine. This is your methyl. Okay. So how can you write the correct IPAC nomenclature of this organic compound? Friends, according to IPAC principle, first you have to choose the longest carbon chain. Friends, obviously this will be the longest carbon chain. This will be the longest carbon chain. And the longest carbon chain is called as, called as parent chain. And apart from the parent chain, all other part is called as substituents. So friends, here three substituents are present, bromine, methyl and bromine, okay. Then numbering will be done in such a way that the substituent will find minimum number. The substituent will find minimum number. Friends, 1, 2, if we choose this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. And if you choose this direction, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You have a 2 mass substituent and you have also 2 mass substituent. If we go to, in this direction, you will get substituent in second position and here also substituent in second position. So, which will be the correct direction of numbering? So, friends, you have to follow lowest set of local or lowest sum rule, lowest sum rule or lowest set of locant. Okay. So friends, what is a locant? The carbon in the parent chain which contains a substituent is called as locant. The carbon in the parent chain which contains a substituent is called as locant. So friend, this carbon is a locant, this carbon is a locant, this carbon is a locant because it contains a substituent, it contains a substituent, it contains a substituent. So we have to choose which is correct direction of numbering. Friends, if we go in this direction, you will get 2 and 4, 2 and 4 in this direction. In this direction, 2 and 4. So 2 plus 4 plus and then 7. 2 plus 4 plus 7. That will give you 7 plus 4, 11 plus 2. That is your 13. And if you go in this direction, you will get position 2 plus. That is your 5 plus. That is your 7. Then the answer will be 7 plus 12 plus 2, that is your 14. You have to choose which is lowest. Obviously, 13 is lowest. Hence, this direction is absolutely correct direction of numbering. So, you have to write the perfect IPAC nomenclature. That is your 2 promo and 7 promo. That means, that means just a minute. That means you have to write two seven two 
7, you have to write comma here because in between number and number you have to write comma. 27 hyphen, that is bromo and bromo, dibromo, you have to use numerical prefix. Dibromo, dibromo, 27, dibromo, and then in four person you get methyl. 4 methyl, 4 methyl, this is your prefix, then what root? These all are prefix, then what root? Matlab, how many carbons are present in, in parent chain? 8 carbons are present, you have to write oct, okay? And then, after the word root, you have to write primary suffix. Type of bond, that is your single bond. You have to write here A-N-E, octane. The correct I part nomenclature will be 27-dibromo-4-methyl octane. Friends, you may practice in your room, in your home, like this, various examples, and... You will be master in organic nomenclature. Thank you.